Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back, I'm so glad you are here and I hope you will have a wonderful time with me today. Today I would like to show you some gems I found on a second-hand market. Maybe you ask yourself, why are you buying on a second-hand market? It's because you can save a lot of money and you can find fragrances which are hard to find anyway. Some of them are partial use, but I hope you don't mind. First one we have Bulgari Rose Gold and Red Blossom. This fragrance has been released in 2019, so it is not the newest one, but I got it as a free gift to my beloved YSL Kaftan, I spoke a couple of videos ago, link above, and I think it worth to mention this fragrance in my videos. Rose Gold and Adelaide Blossom is a very pretty fragrance, it's easy grab and go scent, it's fairly airy, fresh and green, with dominant rose accents, but not only rose plays a game in here, guys. You can find papaya in the top nose, which gives this fragrance a hint of sweetness and tropical vibe, but as you might know, papaya is not itself super sweet, so you will definitely not get these sticky sweet vibes. And I do not see many times papaya in the notes in the fragrances, I don't know about you. You can write me below if you know any other fragrances with papaya. And I think I could easily say it is a safe blind buy because many people might find this fragrance very pleasing and clean thanks to Lily of the Valley. Next one we have Prada Candy Gloss, which I found on a second-hand market for a great price. I was so happy. I already own like 7ml version that I keep in my drawer at work and I use it when I feel I need a bit of fragrance refresh, you know. This fragrance is a cherry bomb and it's very well loved in this household. Whenever I have Prada Candy Gloss on myself, my boyfriend gets crazy and asks me what I'm wearing, no joke. I believe this scent is ageless, even teenagers can rock this fragrance and it is very feminine sweet but still playful and bright. Well, this ticks all the boxes guys like, don't you think guys? Let me know. Also it could be easily your signature scent, everyday easy grab and go in my view, but bear in mind, the longevity is not really mind blowing. Now I would like to show you something different. This is a solid fragrance made in India. I believe the company is called Song of India. The scent itself is called Krishna Musk. Fragrance is stored in this beautiful wooden jar, which was apparently handmade from Indian wood. Fragrance inside looks like this. You warm it up with your finger and then apply wherever on their skin, just outside as you like. The scent itself is though very delicate and skin scent. The ingredients are natural essential oils, wheat germ oil, shea butter, aloe vera extracts, bee wax and vegetable wax. In my view, this is a great option to wear before bed, after the shower, if you are not seeking any overpowering fragrances, before sleeping, this is it. I found this fragrance in a store where I bought this beautiful stones that you can see in my background, however I believe you can find it online as well. Now let's talk about Mugler Angel Goddess. This fragrance has been released last year in 2021 and it got so many opinions that you cannot even imagine. By now I honestly feel that every Mugler's fragrance is either love or hate and nothing in between. In the past I never saw myself liking Mugler's fragrances, but guys, Maybe that is something with, with an H, but apparently nowadays I like quite some of them. This one is not an exemption. At the beginning I had mixed feelings when I was watching other reviews, but I'm glad I found this fragrance again on a second-hand market for a good price and could properly play with it. Alien Goddess is very silky and smooth fragrance. I can imagine a beautiful woman wearing a satin dress, going to have a dinner in a very nice restaurant. This can be definitely a signature scent of somebody and in my view can be used all around the year, even though many people might see it as a summer fragrance. And now I want to show you again something a little bit different and it's Essence Coffee to Glow. This one is a body mist and mind wake up mist as it is written on the bottle and has caffeine in it. This mist has delicious caramel macchiato scent, however it lasts only like 
five seconds or so, unfortunately. But if you are a lover of coffee as myself, it might work for you to give this mist a chance and also it's very affordable, so why not? Me personally, I use it only on my face and I tried it on my skin as well, but with no huge effect guys. So it's up to you if you want to invest this couple of euros and play with it just in the air, just in your face and try something new as an option to your other coffee fragrances that you have in your collection for sure. Another great find on secondhand market I was able to score is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir Couture. This fragrance is apparently discontinued, so I'm really happy that I found it. And the bottle is stunning. I really love the yellow color transferring into the pink one. As name indicates, it's a bit couture, but still very feminine with the romantic vibes. I already have from this line flanker called Velours. That one is a cherry dominant couture is raspberry one but gives you like a vibe of cherry a bit in my view and this one is more darker than Weller's and less powdery. I believe it's a great everyday scent also suitable for an evening activities especially when wearing a pencil tight dress on a semi-formal event like restaurant opening or attending an exhibition or birthday of somebody let's say. Let me tell you now a few words about Sadiq and Voltaire, this is her. This fragrance is for me on the edge of liking it and at the same time being too much for me. I hope you understand. It is super milky scent, so if you are not a fan, please do not blind buy it. That's my honest advice. Again, I got it from a secondhand market from a lady that used approximately one third of the fragrance and most probably was facing the same dilemma as myself. In a certain way, this is a very comforting vanilla nutty milky scent that you would like to wrap into. Like if a blanket would smell like this during winter, it would be very relaxing. But for me, the issue seems to be that if I have this scent on my skin too long, because the longevity is very good, at least on my skin, it is getting a bit annoying. Do you have the same issues with other fragrances as well, guys? Let me know. By the way, if you do not want to invest into this fragrance, in the past H&M had a fragrance called Mirabilia, which was spot on dupe of this. I also bought from a secondhand market, Carolina Herrera Good Girl, very well known shoe battle. Good Girl started it all for the other flankers from the same line. So far my favorite is Very Good Girl in a red bottle, but I have my eye on the new cherry one, which is of course not available in my country I currently live in, but what I can do. But now let's go back to the Good Girl itself. Prior to this purchase, I had a sample and once I was with my friend testing out various scents and she said that this is an absolutely lady boss scent. That the woman who is wearing this fragrance has to be bold enough herself to be able to wear the scent in all of its glory. And I could not agree more. Definitely I can imagine a woman who knows what she wants and it's always put together. Uh, and she could have Good Girl as a signature scent for all season and all occasions. Last but not least we have Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Peony. I really like the aesthetic of this line and I've tried just a Dolce, used it, didn't repurchase, I got Dolce Garden, decluttered that one, I love Dolce Lily and then I was thinking okay let's try another one and I purchased it again. Second hand you see quite a lot of it is used already and therefore I got it just for a bargain and I, I didn't mind to just try it. This one is very fresh. I really like it for spring, I love peonies, it's definitely a peony fragrance, it's very inoffensive, it would be good for walks outside, even for sport most probably. Will I repurchase this one? Maybe not. Will I use it and enjoy it? Definitely yes. Why I would not buy a bigger bottle is, unfortunately I pick up a lot of pink pepper there, the same issue as I had with Rev de Hanami. So guys, do you agree with my opinions or do
Do you disagree? Let me know. I'm so glad you are here with me. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you next time.